Topic 7. Housing. Your home. A safe, clean, and affordable home for you and your family is very important. It is your responsibility to keep your apartment clean and in good condition. This information will help you do that. Housing terms. A tenant is the person or persons paying money to live in the apartment or house. You are a tenant. A landlord is the person who owns the apartment or house, rents the space to you, and is in charge of the building. A lease is a legal document between a tenant and a landlord. When the tenant signs a lease, he or she agrees to pay a monthly rent and live in the apartment for a certain period of time. A security deposit is money the tenant pays the landlord. This money covers damages that may occur while the tenant is renting or covers any unpaid rent the tenant owes the landlord. Your apartment. Before you move in, you or your case manager should walk through the apartment with your landlord to identify any damage or things that need fixing. This will help you get your security deposit back when you move out. Maintaining your apartment. At least once a week, clean your apartment with a vacuum cleaner. Use a broom and mop to clean floors that do not have carpet. Clean up spills with soap and water immediately. Storing cleaning products. Store cleaning products away from food. Make sure cleaning products are stored in a place where children cannot get to them as they can make children sick if ingested. Carpets and floors. Remove shoes when you enter your apartment to help keep the carpets and floors clean. Keeping your apartment clean will help prevent attracting bugs and mice. It will also help your family stay healthy and help you get your security deposit back when you move out. Furniture. Furniture is your property to keep when you move out. It will last a long time if you keep it nice. Teach children to be careful of the things in the apartment. Do not climb or jump on the furniture. Do not bring furniture that you find outside near the trash into your apartment. Even if it looks like it is in good condition, it may have bugs or other problems. Your kitchen. An important area of your apartment to keep clean is the kitchen. The kitchen has many appliances, some that may be new to you. The stove. When cooking food on top of the stove, always begin on low or medium heat and then adjust. If you begin on high heat, you may burn the food or pan. The oven. To use the oven to cook food or bake meat or bread, place the dial on 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The broil setting uses flames to cook food. It becomes very hot and can quickly burn your food. Cleaning the oven and stove. Clean any spilled food in the oven and on the stove as soon as they have cooled. Clean your stove daily. Spilled or burned food and grease are dangerous. They smell bad and attract bugs, rats, and mice. Grease. Spilled grease can also cause falls and fires. Do not put grease down the sink. Pour it into an empty can and throw it away in the trash. Food preparation. When chopping or slicing food with a knife, use a cutting board to prevent damaging the countertop. Never cut directly on the countertop. Never cut food on the floor. After preparing food, wash the counters and cutting boards with soap and water to keep counters clean and to prevent bacteria. Your countertops. Never put a hot pan directly on a countertop. Use a hot pad or dish towel under the hot pan to avoid burning the counter. Keeping food safe. Never leave food out on the counter without covering it with plastic wrap, foil, or a dish towel. It is better to cover food and keep it in the refrigerator or freezer. Clean the shelves of the refrigerator regularly with soap and water. Keeping your family healthy. If you leave food out, it will attract bugs, rats, and mice into your home. Good hygiene and food preparation and storing your food correctly helps keep your family from getting sick from spoiled food. Always wash your hands with soap before you cook or eat food to kill germs that can make you and your family sick. Rinse fruit and vegetables with water just before eating, cutting, or cooking them 
to get rid of possible, possible bacteria that could cause illness using the dishwasher. A dishwasher kills germs on dishes and silverware. It does not scrub dishes or take the place of a garbage disposal. Always put food scraps into the garbage and rinse the dishes before putting them into the dishwasher. You must use a special soap designed for the dishwasher. Never use liquid hand soap or laundry detergent in the dishwasher. Sink and garbage disposal. Some kitchen sinks have garbage disposals that shred food waste so it can pass through the plumbing. There is an on-off switch next to the sink. You should only turn the garbage disposal on when the water is on. Never put metal, bones, eggshells, fruit pits, onions, celery, or non-food items down the garbage disposal. If your garbage disposal becomes stuck, water may back up in the sink. Never put your hands inside the disposal or you may injure yourself. Garbage. Place garbage in the garbage bins in your apartment. Line garbage bins with plastic garbage bags. Take the garbage out of your apartment every day to a garbage can or dumpster to prevent attracting bugs and mice. Never leave garbage in the hallway of the apartment building. Cleaning the bathroom. The bathroom must be cleaned weekly. This includes the floor, the inside and outside of the toilet, sink and bathtub, and or shower. Do not allow hair or other items to go down the drain or the drain may get clogged. Toilet problems. Use a brush to clean inside the toilet. Do not use the toilet brush for anything else. Never flush female sanitary products, food, or large amounts of toilet paper down the toilet. If the toilet overflows, call your landlord immediately. Water leaks and spills. Keep the shower curtain inside the bathtub and always clean up water on the floor. Do not allow water to escape onto the floor because it can cause flooding and water damage. Doing laundry. Put clothing and laundry detergent into the machine. Start the machine. Do not overpack clothes into the washing machine or dryer. Always clean out the lint filter in the dryer before using the dryer to avoid causing a fire. Mail. Open and read your mail and put important papers in a safe place. Dispose of junk mail in a trash can in your home. Never sign something you do not understand. Requests. Landlords often require a written request before they will make repairs in your apartment. Use a repair request form from your landlord to write this request. Inform your landlord immediately if you are having problems with bugs, rats, mice, or plumbing. Occupancy rule. There are rules on how many people are allowed to live in an apartment. It is your responsibility to follow the rules and let your landlord know how many people are living in your home. The landlord can tell you to leave your home if you do not follow this rule. Being a good neighbor. Most people living in apartments go to sleep around 10 p.m. Please keep children quiet, keep conversations at a low level, and do not play loud music between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. If you have disagreements with your neighbors, try to resolve them together. If you cannot, ask your landlord to help. Paying your bills. You must pay your rent, utilities, and other bills on time each month. Utilities usually include heat, electricity, and air conditioning. The tenant is responsible for paying these utilities. Utilities can be very expensive. Follow these tips to keep your utility bills low. Conserving energy and saving money. If the furnace, heater, or air conditioner is running, keep the windows and doors closed. The thermostat controls the temperature in your apartment. In the winter, the thermostat should be set between 65 and 70 degrees. In the summer, if you have air conditioning, it should be set between 70 and 75 degrees. Turn off the lights when you leave your apartment to save money on electricity. Keep the refrigerator door closed as much as possible. Leaving the refrigerator door open 
waste electricity, and can cause food to spoil. Moving out. It is important to complete your lease. Most leases ask that you agree to live in the apartment or house for 12 months. Give your landlord a month's notice in writing before moving out. At the end of the lease, the landlord will return the security deposit only if the apartment is in good condition and if the rental payments are current. Summary Pay your bills on time. Keep things clean. Take care of property. Pay attention to your mail. Do not waste energy. And be a good neighbor and tenant.